ever wondered which programming language will be your ticket to tech success between python or java join me as we dive into this epic battle of simplicity versus versatility which side are you on hey there tech enthusiasts welcome again to our channel the tech mastery hub with oladeji today we've got a showdown that's sure to spark some debates. And I think it has been sparking some debates, especially with our new techies. Python or Java? Which of them is the ultimate? This is the ultimate battle of programming titans. So which one should you choose? Stick around to find out more. Making a great comparison between Python versus Java. The Battle of the Titans, I'll call it. Let's walk through the features of both um, programming languages. Often asked which one is better. Java and Python are both popular programming languages. But they have different strengths and are often used for different purposes. We'll make a comparison between Java and Python in various aspects of both programming languages. Now, before then, one of the favorite questions people ask is, um, which one is easier to learn? Well, I always give this crown to Python. This language is like your friendly neighbor next door. It's known for its simplicity, its readability, and clean syntax. In fact, it's often recommended as a fantastic starting point for beginners. You won't find yourself tangled in a web of confusing codes. Python's indentation based on structure keeps things neat and tidy. So it's quite easy to start with. As per performance, I always give the performance to Java because Java is known for its um, high performance and often used for applications that requires a high throughput and low latency, such as um, real-time system applications and um, server-side applications. Whereas Python is generally slower than Java due to its interpreted nature. While it's not as um, performant as Java though, it's often fast enough for many applications. And um, when it comes to syntax, Java has a more verbose and strongly typed syntax, which can require more lines of code compared to Python. Python, on the other hand, is known for its clean and concise syntax, making it easier to read and write codes. And when it comes to concurrency and multi-threading, Java provides a robust support for concurrent and multi-threaded programming making it suitable for building high-performance concurrent systems, while Python's GIL can limit its ability to take full advantage of multi-core processors for certain CPU-bound tasks. So it's still related to performance, right? It's still Java. And um, ecosystem and libraries, here I think both Applications are rich when it comes to libraries. Java has a vast ecosystem with numerous libraries and frameworks for various domains. These domains include um, the enterprise and web development and mobile as well, among many others. And similarly, Python also has a very rich ecosystem with extensive libraries and frameworks in the areas of data science, machine learning, especially and of course, web development too. So whereas they have some in common, they have others that are not in common, but both are truly very rich when it comes to libraries and ecosystem. And, um, platform independence. Java, especially by virtue of its um, virtual, Java virtual machine, JVM, it's a right once run anywhere application. 
it's really, really platform independent. While platform and Python on its own is cross, while it is cross platform, it may not have the same level of platform independence as Java, especially when it comes to the areas of um, mobile development. Community support, both applications truly have a great um, community and support system. Java has a large and mature community with extensive documentation around there. Python too. They both have it. Okay. And um, when it comes to use cases, which is where I really think the choice should be based on. Whereas Java is commonly used for developing enterprise applications, server-side applications and large-scale systems, Python is more adept towards data science, machine learning, AI, scripting, and some automations like bots and all such. However, when it comes to um, um, web development, both still comes in to an extent. When it comes to mobile application, both still comes in. So the use cases differ a little. This is what should actually determine what programming language I'm choosing to use. In summary, the choice between Java and Python depends on your specific project and requirements. So Java is good choice for performance critical and large scale applications, while Python is well suited for tasks like data analysis, scripting, and rapid development. Many developers, however, also use both languages in different parts of their projects based on their strengths. But like I said earlier, if you are starting afresh, I will recommend Python. It will not scare you away like Java will. So there, guys, we have um, the comparison between the two giants, Java and Python. None, in my opinion, is better than the other. Python is not better than Java, and Java is not better than Python. It's just a function of what you need to work with. So there you have it, guys. A fun and informative showdown between Python and Java. Whether you are a newbie, a seasoned coder, or somewhere in between, both languages have their unique strengths. So the real winner is you. Choose the language that best fits your goals. Remember, the world of coding is all about learning and exploration. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your loved ones on our channel. Hit the notification bell so that you get more craft, uh, code craft content as they drop in weekly. Happy coding, and we'll see you with the next one.